Hi, I'm going to uh, try to uh, show you in a sequence of videos how I use Photoshop, in this case uh, this is CS5, to mosaic together um, images uh, of the moon to produce a larger mosaic. Um, this first video is going to be very basic, just introducing the components and uh, how I assemble the images and then we'll go on into things like levels and um, getting rid of the sharp edges on individual panes. Um, what I've done uh, by way of preparation for this, I've got um, two images, uh, here we are part three and uh, image four, uh, both of which were acquired uh, last month using uh, my QHY 5V camera and a Celestron C95. For those of you that are interested, it also had a 3 times Barlow on it and an astronomic uh, 742 near-infrared pass filter. Uh, these have been uh, stacked and wavelitted in AviStack 2, uh, but no other processing has been done on it. Now what I've done is I've set up a new file, a new image uh, called Untitled 1. Uh, you can see it's an 8-bit grayscale image up here, uh, and you can see it's square, it's 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels, and it's white. Now, the first thing we want to do is to give ourselves a black background. But for reasons that will come clear later, I like to leave the very background white. Now, Photoshop, for those of you that are new, uh, one of the first things I would advise you get to get, to get the hang of is layers. And what you can see here is that we've got one layer on this image, uh, and it's called background and it's white, and it's locked. This padlock here means it's locked, and this eye here means you can see it. Now, I want to put another layer on top of this, and you can do this a number of ways. You can either right click it with your mouse and go duplicate layer, call it background copy, and there we have a background layer. Um, another way to do it is to grab your background and drag it down to this icon down here, this one here, and as you can see that gives us background copy two. So we have three backgrounds, uh, just show you how they work. I don't need this one here, so what I'm going to do is right click it and hit delete layer. If I do want to delete it, yes I do. So here we have two white backgrounds. Now, last time I looked, space was pretty black, so what we want to do is to turn this, this layer black. So the way I do it, uh, you can go Image, Adjustments, Invert, and you can see Control-I inverts it. I'm not going to use these keyboard shortcuts, but I will point them out to you, but Control-I will invert it. So by inverting this image, which is all white, it will turn it all black. Bang, there we go. Just to show you how this works, we've now got a white background and a black background copy. And uh, this eye here, uh, we can click this and it will disappear, and the black image disappears and we can see the white underneath it. Click the eye again and the black disappears, or appears rather. So, what we want to do is to take our first image and go select all, and you can see if you want to use the keyboard shortcuts, it's Control A, and it puts these marching ants around the whole lot. And then go Edit Copy or Control C if you want to, and that pastes that entire image onto the clipboard. We'll then go back to our background layer and go Edit Paste or Control V, and there is our image, our first image on our background. Now, what you can do, if you want to, you can see that what it's given us is a new layer called Layer 1. And double click the name and we'll call that Pane 3 for reference purposes. Enter. OK. Now, up here we have the Move tool. If you click this, you can click on this image and move it around on the background to your heart's content. I'm going to complete the, complete, uh, sorry, repeat this with uh, pane 4, so there's pane 4, select all or control A, marching ants appear, edit, copy, select our background, edit, 
paste and there's our pane 4. We've got layer 1 here and we'll call this pane 4. Naming it after the file name. And you can see that because the pane 4 uh, layer is highlighted with the mouse, with the move tool uh, activated, we can drag that around. OK. Now then, I think that that will do for the first image. Um, what we're going to do, actually before I go, I'll just show you this. If at any time you want to move pane 3 around, you can just click the pane 3 and that activates that. Go back to pane 4, activate that. You can make either disappear by doing that or that. And you can click this one and you can show them against the white background so you can see the extent of the black boundaries, which we'll come back to in a minute. OK, hope that that's got you started. Um, I'll go and see if I can get this uploaded onto YouTube and uh, come back in a while. Bye.